What makes you keep doing this? <laughs> I get the buck. <laughs> by November, by October, this was up before uh, Halloween. I made it. I didn't light it up, but the day after Halloween, I lit, I lit it. You just can't wait. October comes, you can't wait. You get like an urge. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Diker Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn is known for its unparalleled devotion to Christmas decorating. But at one home, there's an annual Christmas tradition that's unlike anything we've ever seen. An ancient Neapolitan arrangement known as a presepio, affectionately constructed and displayed each year depicting both the traditional nativity scene and daily life in 18th century Naples, Italy. The way today people decorate their houses in, in very um, ostentatious ways for the holidays, for Christmas, and neighbors compete with that, that's what the presepio was at that time. And the concept was that Jesus was born with fanfare, but he was born unknown. And the fact that the angels were there and that the wise men came. And you have to find the Jesus and the Mary and the Joseph in the presepio the way that the wise men had to find them at the Epiphany. The artist is a local resident named John Miniero, born in Sorrento, Italy, who immigrated to the United States in 1957 when he was just 12 years old. A master baker by trade, John first shared his budding talent with the world through the windows of his Brooklyn bakery over 40 years ago. It's a far cry from the paper mache versions he watched his father build as a child, and remarkably, Every year starts from a blank slate, a task that brings new meaning to the phrase labor of love. Now constructed from cork, wood, and paper, and populated by a collection of hundreds of figurines John has collected over the decades of devotion, you'll be hard pressed to find a single detail that John hasn't poured his heart and ingenuity into. These are stones I bought in Italy, and I grew wow. them under, I grew them with plaster, like that looks just like a plaster. So it's real, it looks, yeah, yeah like a real house. You see how here they are, they got the little tiles on top of here. I love that even in the deep background, there's action, there's stuff going on all up there. Like it's not just, oh, that's a background. No, he's thought of like every little yeah, detail. Little people with the carts, uh, yeah. the horses. They're doing stuff. And you know, the beauty of this, right? The, the, the figurines are not the same size, and that's done intentionally because that shows depth, right? Yeah, the, the top ones are small. And yeah. the top ones are smaller because that gives you the concept, the, the um, vision that that's further away, that's, that's in deeper. But look at these, John, let me ask you, how do you keep that water from freezing in the fountains? This you, fountain, can, you can put an antifreeze, but uh, usually you get away with it, but sometimes it does freeze. We're always grateful to meet people like John, and no, not just because he loaded us up with homemade cookies. His work is quite literally the heavy lifting that helps to keep our culture alive and flourishing. And the fruit of his near obsessive labor is truly a gift to the people of Brooklyn and all who visit. From his clever tricks with forced perspective to his custom lighting methods, this 15-foot masterpiece is a handmade marvel of artistry and technical achievement. And we hope we'll see it sprawled out across the yard of his 14th Avenue home for many Christmases to come. John, I gotta ask you the most important Italian question of today. Does your wife start screaming when you start to make new pieces? Oh, I Where make a mess downstairs and I clean it up. <laughs> Upstairs, I, I won't do nothing. Upstairs is uh, Upstairs is hers house. and yeah. downstairs is you yours. You gotta see this place when, uh, well, I'll show you to you on the phone. What a mess. <laughs> Especially when I put the moss, because I get oh, the yeah. moss fresh. Sorry, All the see. dirt on the floor. Oh. <laughs> We have had a great time being here. There is nothing more uh, Christmassy and holiday than coming into somebody's home and being welcomed like John and his family have welcomed us. This presepio is inviting to the whole neighborhood and hopefully inviting to all of you out there in Italian America, taking a look now for the first time. 14th so and 80th. 14th and 80th, Brooklyn, New York. Come next year, drop in a couple of quarters too. <laughs> From all of us, Natale. <laughs> Buon Natale. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next year. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's a tiny little world. I love it. <laughs>